Recently, a gentleman asked me, you travel so much, you're constantly on the go, you're moving around all over the place all the time. When do you actually prepare your lectures? I told him, preparing a lecture is not a very big deal. I read so much, I hear from my colleagues, I interact with people so much. And on all my travels, I get so much experience. Don't they say that the best stories of your life are found between the pages of the passport? You put all of this together and within a short while, you can prepare a fantastic talk. So realistically speaking, working on a talk is a very small part of the deal. Working on myself is a large part of the deal. To be spiritually inspired, to be intellectually nourished, to be emotionally satisfied. That's the large part of the deal. Because it's not our words or our works that create an inspiring impact on the people whom we serve. It's who we are, our experience, how we feel internally is what we are actually giving people. And this is why, like in the game of chess, if we want to win the game, we can't always just move forward. Sometimes we have to move backwards to be able to get that time to rejuvenate and revitalize ourselves, to be able to actually get that time to reflect and strategize how to move forward with double the force and double the impact. Don't we always find that when an arrow is shot, it's pulled backwards so that when it is shot, it can go with its full potential and double the force towards its target. And in order to take that step backward, we could do it in two different ways. I call it conscious opportunities or crisis opportunities. Conscious opportunities means we know that it's important to step backwards and work on ourselves. We give it the necessary priority. Don't they say where attention goes, energy flows. So we consciously create that opportunity to take a break. We take a break before we break down so that we can come back with inspiration relaunch ourselves and then there is crisis opportunities which means when crisis happens when calamity happens we transform that crisis into an opportunity to work on ourselves Steve Jobs when he was chucked out of Apple Incorporation that he himself had formed and established he loved his work in that time he worked on himself he found the love of his life and made that relationship strong he created Pixar and Next Animation. And when Apple hired him back, he came back with double the force. This is how we find the kind of incredible technology that Apple has been able to contribute to the world. Winning the game of life or winning the game of chess means not to just keep moving forward, but also to move backwards. I say always, Moving backwards is not a sign of weakness or cowardice. I feel it's the greatest expression of wisdom. We press the pause, not because we want to pause. We press the pause because we want to press the play and come back with double the energy, double the force, and double the impact in order to achieve what we want to achieve in our lives.